Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf Coffee Break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we are going to look at adding specific terminology to your Business Central reports. To demonstrate how to do this, we will use the sales documents from the Fornav report pack. I will change the standard and field captions without ever opening the Fornav designer. You can add specific terminology to any Fornav report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate how to add specific terminology to a Fornav report, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, we will change the customer caption to client. In the third and final step, we will change the report and field captions for sales documents. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding specific terminology in a Business Central Cloud environment with the Business Central 2020 Wave 1 release. I have installed the Fornav extension and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on Business Central on-prem. Please ensure you're using the Fornav Report Pack version 5.2 or above. Changing the captions in all the reports is a lot of hassle, even with the templating function that is available in Fornav. Take, for instance, changing the customer caption. What if you want to change that to client and all the reports? We've got you back here. In the latest release of the Fornav Report Pack, you can change this without even opening the Fornav Designer. So let's have a look at this. If I go into my Business Central reports, I'm just going to be, going to be playing with the, with the reports today. So I won't be using any of the template reports, but let's just have a look at the invoice. and preview this, we'll notice that there's a customer caption right here. If I zoom in a little bit, and what if I want to change this on not just the invoice, but the order and everything else? For this, we have added the Fornav language, which I can find straight from the search box. And if I go there, you can see that I can add new language, new translations. So let's add my language code. I'm just going to be using US English today. And I'm going to translate from customer and I will translate to client. So let's go to my invoice report again and see what this changes. Zoom in again. I will notice that client has been, customer has been changed to client. And if, for instance, I open the sales order and hit preview on that, you will notice I have client here as well, again, instead of customer. Of course, I can change it into, into anything I want. If I want to say consumer, it will be changed into consumer. Of course, we're not limited to strictly English either. I can say Choose Dutch, for instance, and uh, let's change customer to consument. So I can change all the I can I can change captions in in every language that I uh, that I want. Adding a translation for a specific text works well, uh, but it is a bit of a blunt instrument. What if I need to change a caption on a specific report or on a specific table? For this, we have added the objects function in the Fornav language page. Here you can override report captions, table captions, and field captions. Back to Business Central. In the Fornav language page, we have at the top, we have a button called objects. And if I open this, I get to uh, into the objects view of the page where I can add uh, a language code and then specific functions for the report ID table number and field number. So again, English, which we all understand. Now, if I, if I just want to change the report caption, 
all I need to do is add the report ID, which is going to be my invoice, which is this one. I'm using a US localized sandbox, so I need the uh, sales tax invoice. And if I leave the table number and field number blank, then I can override the, uh, the standard report caption. And I'm going to change that to bill of sale. And back to my reports list to preview this. And I'm going to need to preview the invoice. And now my report caption has been changed to bill of sale and a customer of course is now consumer because that's the last change we uh, we did. So that's the way we can change captions for specific reports and this works on any Fornav report anywhere. What if I want to change something more specific, say a caption of a field in a, in a table? That's fairly simple as well. I can sim again add the language code that I want to change and then change the, rep the uh, enter the table number. I will use table 113, which I know is the sales invoice line, and I want to change field 11, which is the description. Let's translate this to explanation. So now this means that on every 4NF report that uses the sales invoice line, the description caption will be replaced by explanation. Let's go and have a look. Run the, run the invoice report again and preview. And now my description has been changed to explanation. And just to be sure, let's check the order report. and preview. And here my description is still called description and this is because the order report uses a different source table than the invoice report. So let's play around with that as well. Let's make a new Translation and let's use table 37, which is the sales line. And let's play with field six now. Field six is the number, which I want to change from NO dot to number. So let's run the order again. Now the caption of NO dot has been changed to number on the sales order. Now let's check the invoice, which is, as we just noticed, based on a different table. Still NO dot with the description still explanation. And just to be certain, let's go to the quote and preview because the quote is also based on the sales line table. So on the quote, our number is changed to number as well. If I wanted to make this change specific to the, to for instance, a sales quote or the sales order, I would need to add the report ID that I want to change this, uh, this specific caption on. Now let's go a bit nuts. Let's go and change this into something really, new, really long. Let's change this into enumerator and preview this on the report and see what, uh, what Business Central makes of it. Because I think enumerator is a bit too long for the field and I'm quite right. Uh, what Business Central makes of this is enumerator or with an R uh, on, this, on the next page. This looks a bit silly and this is because Windows, uh, the Windows Server Platform doesn't have any uh, any built-in logic to how to break off words in any logical place. Fortunately, with Fornav, we can add these uh, these break-offs, and we can do this by adding the squarely thing, 
I don't know how else to call it. Uh, this will this will create a uh, an intelligent word break. If this word is long enough, if if there's enough space for the word, it will just print enumerator. But if there isn't enough place for the for the word, it will just break the word off a bit in a bit more logical place. So let's have a look and see what happens. There we have it. No dot is now enumerator, and it is broken off in a more logical place than uh, than uh, happens by itself, and that's because we added the intelligent word break. So let's recap what we just did. We wanted to change some of the captions in our report. To change the customer caption, we added a translation in the FONAV language table. When we wanted to change a specific report, table or field caption, we opened the objects list from the FONAV language table. In there, we changed the caption for specific tables and specific reports. Please note that it is possible to create a complete translation for a new language. However, Microsoft has recently added language pack extensions to Business Central. They can provide the basics of the language. If you then need to change any specific translations, you can do so with Fornav. Thank you all for listening to me so far. Mark, do we have any questions? Thanks, René, for doing this great presentation. And um, right now we don't have any questions yet, uh, but let's give the audience a moment to um, digest all of this cool stuff um, while we go through the list of, of resources. Um, if you want to know more about uh, Fornav, you can go to our website, uh, fornav.com, and here you can find all the information, including the download section where you can download the designer. Um, as René stated earlier in the coffee break, um, for everything he did today, you do not need the designer. Um, everything uh, that you saw today can be done directly from uh, Business Central using Setup. Uh, by any power user um, without any knowledge of, of reporting. If you want to get started with the report pack that René used today, uh, you can go to Microsoft App Source, uh, search on Fornav, and then click on uh, on trial, install it in, uh, in your sandbox or in production, whichever you prefer. You will get access to the full product. Everything will work. Uh, there's no limitations except printing um, a watermark, and as soon as you subscribe to a license, the watermark will be um, removed. If you want to see more of these coffee breaks, you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash reports, and here you can find all the coffee breaks that we've done uh, in the past. And if you have any questions after that, you don't hesitate to send an email to support at fornav.com, and we will typically try to get back to you within 24 hours. So we still don't have any questions, so let's wrap up. Um, if you go to fornav.com slash coffee break, you will find a list of upcoming coffee breaks. Uh, so these are coffee breaks that uh, have not yet been presented uh, today. Um, yeah, go to the next slide, please. If the topic of your choosing is not in the list, if it's not on YouTube or on the future list, um, you can send us an email. If we decide to uh, host a coffee break around the topic that you request, you will win uh, two fantastic prizes. Uh, the first one is probably the most interesting one. You will get an answer to your question uh, in a video specially created for you. And the second prize is that you will receive a, a gift card uh, worth uh, 50 euro or dollar, depending on uh, where you're from, as a thank you uh, for suggesting the topic. Um, if you have those, please send them to info at fornav.com and we will evaluate um, and get back to you. So with that, perfect on time. Thank you, Rene, for doing this today again. Uh, have a nice day and see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.